Hello, and welcome to class today. Today we're going to talk about dangling and misplaced modifiers. So what is a misplaced modifier? Well, first you need to know what a modifier is. A modifier is either a word, like an adverb or an adjective, or it could be a phrase, which is a group of words. And either of these two things can be something that describes or modifies a word in the sentence. Now, phrases that modify other words can act like either an adverb or an adjective. Dangling modifiers, or sometimes they're called misplaced modifiers, are words, phrases, or clauses where it is unclear which element of the sentence they are modifying because they could be either modifying the subject or the object, or in the case of a dangling modifier, the word they're modifying or describing isn't there at all. Now let's go over some examples first. Here's an example of a misplaced modifier. Laughing loudly, the joke pleased the audience. Now if you read that sentence, you might realize that the sentence doesn't make much sense because we're not clear who is laughing loudly. Is it the joke or is it the audience? So what is wrong with this sentence? Take a moment and look at it. And then you'll realize that the words laughing loudly are misplaced. It's what's called a misplaced modifier because the words laughing loudly are too far, in the, are too far away in the sentence from the actual word that's being described. Let's revise this sentence. The joke pleased the loudly laughing audience. That is a better way of writing this sentence. Now you'll note that I re reversed the order of the words loudly and laughing because when I wrote it again, it didn't sound terribly good. So I liked the way it sounded here better, but you could still have written it as the joke pleased the laughing loudly audience. Now you try it. Here's an example. Hopping briskly through the vegetable garden, I saw a toad. What is wrong with this sentence? I'm going to give you a few seconds to think about it and answer the question to yourself. Let's make sure we know what we're talking about here. We're looking for misplaced modifiers. There's part of the word that is misplaced. And the question you're going to ask yourself is, who is hopping briskly through the vegetable garden? Is it the toad or the person who saw the toad? And you'll see that I saw a toad is misplaced. Let's revise this sentence. I saw a toad hopping briskly through the vegetable garden. Now we can see that the sentence makes more sense and we know who actually saw the toad and who was hopping through the garden. Now I'm going to give you four sentences and I want you to work on these four sentences independently. And these sentences, I want you to try to revise them. At this point, I would like you to pause the video. And then once you have answered the four questions, you may resume the video and get the answers at the end. So go ahead and pause now. Okay, welcome back. Here are the answers to these questions, these sentences that are misplaced, mis with misplaced modifiers. Here we go. The lost child was found using high-powered binoculars. That's a better way to say it instead of saying using high-powered binoculars, the lost child was found. Instead of saying celebrating my victory, dinner with my friend lasts until midnight, you might then say instead, a dinner with my friends celebrating my victory lasted till midnight. Now we know who was celebrating the dinner and what they were celebrating instead of the other way around. Instead of saying, my cousin went on and on about her wedding in the elevator. Now we know by this sentence, my cousin went on and on in the elevator describing the details of her wedding. We now know that the wedding did not take place in the elevator, but the conversation took place in the elevator. And the fourth sentence, 
instead of saying the guide found the lion following its trail, where it makes it sound like the lion was following its own trail, now we know that following its trail, the guide found the lion. And so that is misplaced modifiers. Thank you so much for listening, and see you tomorrow.